We wanted you to love yourself. Isn't that what we all want? No matter what in life, that's the one thing that we all want is to love ourselves. And um, welcome to this channel. If it's your first time, please subscribe and share it with others because I'm going to give you some really wonderful information today. I'm using that particular title because it is the title of a message that I received on June 3rd of 2023. And I received it from my guide, Wilhelm. That's the consciousness that I channel and have been doing for many, many years. But I'm going to tell you a little more about it today. I'm getting ready to go to Colorado next week, and I'm going to film an episode of Beyond Belief with George Nury. And I thought that is the best place for me to give this information because I want to give it to more people because I want us to move beyond our disbelief of what we can accomplish in our lives or in the world. So that message is this. We wanted you to love yourself. That sentiment has been the essence of every message we have given you. It is also the same one your guides, angels, and higher selves have whispered to you your entire life. But it is also the one that we wanted you to accept and understand on this day as you approach your full moon and before our life conversation with you tomorrow. Every experience of your life has been valuable and purposeful, and you decided to be alive now to understand your perfection, to love yourself, and offer your essence of light and love to your world and aid your planet in its ascension. At the same time, you could not have understood that before. You can understand the message we gave you in 2012 much better now. Please contemplate it this entire day, and we will reveal and give you more comfort tomorrow. You have no idea how important your existence was. It was all perfect and precisely as it should have been. This is the realization, realization that comes to you when you leave physical form. You would do well to attempt to know this information now as you move through your physical life experience, for it is readily available when you decide to see it. You have done this in many instances when you have noticed the magical synchronicity of events and circumstances in your life and come to know their meaning and purpose. Regardless, all things lead you to your own expansion even if at times it is against your free will as you might as you think of it the results are always for your highest good now i could not have told you what that message meant when i received it we evolve in our consciousness over time i receive information precognitively so i don't always understand it but i was also told that when i'm receiving a message that has the word we in it and you can see this if you go to my site anyadvicefortoday.com there are very very few messages that begin with the word we so when i hear that word i know it's something important so then i look to see well what's happening on june 3rd this year there's a lot of change there are a lot of changes happening a lot of energetic plant things are moving that we just didn't know and so that's why this message was really important. We are all energy and we move it in different ways depending on what we decide to do in, within ourselves. So what I'm going to talk about on um, Beyond Belief is that I was given a path for people to understand who they are. I couldn't have told you that was happening. None of us know who we're going to become as we live our lives. It's this venture that we take into who we are. And so I've been doing it for a really long time. But now let me explain why I can say this and how these things happen. First of all, I've also been told that, and you can go and check this on my site, anyadvicefortoday.com, because if you look up any astrological major event that has happened, Wilhelm gave me some information on that particular day, and it will help you understand it. Now, when I come to that, those messages, though, it's always different. We are always evolving. So the collective consciousness that might exist will be different on the day that I might put out a message. However, we are all connected to source. I was watching um, Greg Braden this morning, and um, please check him out. You can find his YouTube channel or either on Gaia. He was explaining all of this in scientific terms, because I don't do that. 
I just listen to those people to verify what I've been receiving intuitively. That's what that's what I do my entire life because I don't have those references. Um, however, this is what has happened over the years. In 1988, I decided to sit down and do something called automatic writing. I'm going to show you the photo of what that looked like over all of these years. That's what I did. Every single day, I'm sitting down and I'm meditating and I'm receiving information. I'm writing it down. Don't know what I'm doing, but it's giving me guidance. It's giving me cosmic guidance that I didn't understand at the time. However, what it did was it completely changed my life over a period of time. I'm 73, and this is what I'm going to talk about. And after I watched Greg Braden, he mentioned his friend, Dr. Bruce Lipton. And if you've ever watched um, um, Bruce, you would understand a lot more of this, too. And he wrote the book, The Biology of Belief. Belief is all that we have, and we have to find that belief within ourselves. So as I'm sitting and doing all those writings, I'm not going to tell you about it. For 20 years, I hit kept this hidden. I was moving through every difficulty, challenge, horrible thing, dark nights of the soul, as Greg mentioned as well. Many times we go into these really dark, deep places of depression and anger and hatred, whatever it might be. Those are things that are within us. And that's an energy thing as well. So it's an individual energy that we each have, but then there's a collective one, meaning that every single person is doing the same thing. And then when you start to understand sciences, the quantum sciences or mechanics or any of that stuff, which we are just coming to understand, you start to understand maybe there is some connection to all of these things. Maybe there's some connection to the planets and the stars and when we were born and all of that. And those are the things that kept being revealed to me. And so as I'm thinking about what is happening in our world, because see, I knew what was going on because I was given this information. My guide said we were going to go through a restructuring. And the way that was going to operate is that each person was going to go through their ascension, meaning that you're going to be a little, have to uncover your, your, your limitations, your restrictions, what you didn't believe about yourself, the fears, the, the everything that you've had. Why aren't you confident? Why don't you feel empowered? Why don't you have everything that you want in your life? And it's always because we don't love ourselves. And loving ourselves is the steps are the steps that we take to becoming and uncovering our authentic selves. We have a unique DNA that exists within us, each person. And we've come to understand that because we can see it now. Even in sciences, we can see our DNA is not like anyone else's. And that's the problem. Because now we're trying to find what's my unique place in this world? Who am I meant to be? And why are these other people telling me I shouldn't be that person? This is what we move through. And this is what the world moves through as well. And so when I found out that I was going to Guy, I thought that was really interesting because I've been hiding for so long. Why would why why is that happening? Now I'm going to be exposed to the world and I've got to tell the full story. So that's why I'm doing it here. See, because my Wilhelm told me that they'd given me everything that any person could use to really transform their lives and live th this great life and heal and move through trauma and do all of that stuff. And then if more people did that, then we would see a very different world. And then they said, the only difficulty will be we won't believe it. And I can say that because it took me so long to understand what I even had. But then I started seeing, oh, wait a minute. It's doing something else. And this is the other thing I'm going to talk about. There are three things I'm speaking about on George, um, George's show, and that's our individual ascension, meaning what we each move through, our fears, our doubts, our insecurities, and then how do we then develop? That's personal development or self-actualization. But then what if we can understand that we exist for a greater reason, a greater purpose, that maybe we are ascending to a higher state of understanding, and if more of us do that, maybe the rest of the world would do that too, and we would see something very different than what we're seeing now. That's the information I was told, and I've written it all. And if you go to my website, rogerburnley.com, you can read all of the articles going back to 2016, because that's when it was really apparent to me the changes that we would be experiencing in the world. And Wilhelm says, you've got to do something because you have information. I said, no, I can't do that. So I'm going to hide out for a little while longer. That's what I did. You're going to judge yourself and doubt yourself because there's something more within you that you have to get to. And if you don't do that, then 
you start to experience these difficulties in your life. And I can say this because I've done it for so long, but that also what gave me the ability to figure out techniques and practices that I can give to others, but they don't have to do it. But I still doubt it as well. But then when I went to see, things are lining up because Wilhelm said in the channeling session, if you go back to 2023 and follow along, we've given you um, information on those dates that would make sense now. I said, okay, well, let's see what happens. So I'm I'm traveling out on um, June the 6th. So I thought, well, okay, if that's true, what did they, what did you give me on June the 6th of 2023? And how would it be relevant to what is going on now? Why am I on a plane that day? Only to discover it's a new moon and it's a time to really start putting new things in place. That's all of us. The energies that happen during a new moon give us an opportunity to create something new and different in our lives so that we can live the way that we want or experience something different than what we have. So I went to look, and this is what I found about that day. This was the message. Eventually, you come to trust yourself. You were born to bring something of great value and worth to the world, and it is within you. It is within every soul who comes onto the physical plane, but who you are, were meant to become and evolve is evolve to is unique and new, which is what causes you to lack trust in yourself at times. But we gave you guidance on this date in 2012, for we knew that it could be challenging to find your way because you exist to help usher in the new world, which is why you are having a restructuring within yourself and your planet. As you study the message now, please give yourself enough time to understand the message and absorb it. Trust is all you ever need to live a happy and fulfilling physical life experience. If you were to focus on nothing else but developing this quality, you would experience evidence of this fact firsthand. Fear and trust cannot coexist. In actuality, fear is merely a lack on your part of putting effort into developing trust. Trust in its truest form means that you know no matter what may be occurring in your life now or what particular emotions and judgments you may hold about that, it is all working together for your highest good, which is expansion. Hold that thought continually. So I guess that's going to be me trusting myself, and that's what we're all meant to do, and it is a process. And so that's the day that I'm traveling. I go, that makes sense. I should be there on that time. And then, but what am I doing on the 7th? Because that's the day that I'm actually recording the show. I'm filming the show on that day. So I went to see what that told me. It was only recently that my messages began to use different years on the same date to implant or impress upon all of us that we are aligned with the universe. We don't understand it right away. It takes time, linear time that we use to understand a greater sense of who we are, a greater sense of this collective consciousness as well. So this was the message that I that I received on the day that I will be filming this show. It's this. Here is the best advance you will ever receive. And we gave it to you on this date in 2012, as we knew it would aid you now as you're moving through your restructuring. You're given something at birth to develop, own, and bring to your world. And that will cause your life to become magnificent. And you would make the contribution you intended. You do not necessarily achieve your goal all at once. That is the process of living your life expanding and evolving. There are times when you decide to offer your essence, which means moving through your old limitations. If it would be most helpful to your evolution and planet if you did that now. Please study the message we left for you, and we will continue this thread until our live conversation with you this Sunday. You have a tremendous amount to offer now. And so June 7th, Today is the day you make the decision to begin again. It is important for you to remember that it is indeed your decision and yours alone. 
While you possess this ability in each and every moment of now, it is also easy for you to lose sight of this fact with the activities and distractions of your day-to-day, moment-to-moment physical life experience. It becomes easier for you to refocus this attention at the beginning of each new day, today. It would also be helpful for you to remind yourself of the goals you set forth and to re dedicate yourself to them. The physical writing of those goals will will be immensely helpful for you. Now, again, in 2012, when I would have received that, yes, I was doing some of those things, but to understand how it would be relevant in this time would have not made any sense to me. But that's what we come to understand. When I was told that I was given all of this information in, in, 20, in 20, 2012, That was a shock. See, because it came to me, I was told this in 2021. I heard it. I'm walking down the street and heard I was given all of this information because the world was going to be moving through a really challenging time. And 2012 was another movement in our world. And many people might remember that. However, this is a big one. We've never done this before. So it was going to be challenging. But I had been given this work. And then if people did it, they would start to heal because that's what it did for me. I can only talk about what has happened in my life. And so as every day receiving this information, utilizing cosmic guidance to change my brain. The other thing that Bruce Lipton talked about today, which I began to discover, he talked about um, the seven hermetic principles and then also the Kabbalion. Now, years ago, I discovered that and I thought, wow, this sounds exactly like what Wilhelm has given me, and I had no clue that was happening. See, because this goes back to really ancient principles that say all people are born to offer something, and they just move through this evolutionary process. But this was before we had a religions, before we started separating ourselves and doing all of that. And so what we're doing now is trying to rebuild something. That's why Wilhelm said it's a restructuring. And I was given a philosophy that would help uh, cause that to occur. Now, we will doubt ourselves always, no matter what you're doing or building the doubt has to be there because you haven't done the thing that is before you or you think you're supposed to do. So I had tons of that. And I went and I had an Akashic Records reading done in 2021 because I needed a little more encouragement to move forward. And and I got it. I recently published that. It's on my YouTube channel and you can find it there. Many people are kind of blown away when they watch it. It's a little long, but you'll get the information because I needed confirmation as well. And then after I had that confirmation, I decided I had to test it. And I'm saying this because I want you to understand there are no limitations to what you can achieve or create in your life. I know this because this is what I've done. And this is what I'm going to tell George. And I'm going to tell him, yes, I have something that everyone can accomplish that for themselves. And the reason I want them to do that, because if they do, they will become happy. They will become healed. They will move through so much of the old stuff that's been holding them back and they'll help the planet ascend. But see, we're going to go through a lot of anger and yelling and screaming within ourselves because we're just like, oh, what's going on? And it's always the resistance that we have to letting go of something that is old and restricted that was within us, but also within our world. And so it was challenging for me to accept that I was given something that was going to help the world because it would help so many people understand who they were and become this great version of themselves. And so then I put a bunch of people in this program and I wanted to see what would happen and you will hear what they say. And I just want you to have this because I want you, on, especially on June 3rd, to open your consciousness a little bit more because there'll be great energy moving through where you could start to love yourself. And I love you all so much. I'm going to leave this with you now. I found this work is very powerful. They change a lot very quickly. Mm -hmm. It's like quite surprising how things are changing for me. I want to say how grateful I am that you've done this. And the time that you've put through on this is just amazing. Mm -hmm. And when, as we get older and we put through something like this into the world, Mm -hmm. you don't know the benefits of it until years later. I just want to thank you both for the 
for the program probably a year or two ago if there was a tough decision to make especially about money or anything like that that mm -hmm. i would let fear and mm -hmm. worry guide me away from a decision that might have helped me grow i have moved i have i have made some positive changes that i guess hey good bad or ugly you did it that's the main thing uh, when you say the time is now and i always appreciate it because now more than ever i feel a little bit more satisfied myself because um <laughs> especially lately i keep leaving um a project and not finished i love the program i love the questions but i think that um being aware of everything that's inside of you and bringing it out onto paper it really does make you step forward in that area. The way the questions penetrate into your memory and into your past experiences is so unique. Yeah, it really goes deep very, very quickly. I mean, I'm only on day three, but the way like the questions are presented and the things you read before and the whole steps you go through, probably a lot of people's experiences, but it goes really deep, really, really quickly. I mean, every day has its has its difficulties, but like, it's better than it was. You know, I mean, I'm doing more things that I enjoy and like I find that I personally feel like I'm meant to do my book and everything. And then um, with the acting, I'm working on all that. I've been taking so much courses, like, especially with this pandemic, I, you know, approach diverse, different uh, from Tony Robbins, from uh, Bob Proctor, from Jack Canfield, and also I've been following Abraham Hicks, but never really brought me the result that I wanted to to do it. So I'm I'm, I'm very, I mean, this course is very more. I, I found that it, it's I think it's a bit faster. Um, Roger, I just wanted to say thank you again because a few years ago I realised that voice coaching wasn't the only thing that I could do, and that I had something else. I thought I had I didn't know what it was. I had no idea what it was. Yeah. Thank you.